sure it's friggin' on. Okay. You're on. Okay, so I want to talk about this trip because, um, and Baxter may take the microphone away and describe it better than me. This is a really shitty intro. For the first time on this trip, it now reads less than 32 degrees outside. It's 4.15 in the morning. We're in Silverthorne, Colorado. Dana, what the fuck are we doing? Well, I'll tell you, here's the concept. Baxter and I are driving from Los Angeles to meet up with daughter Cookie, sister C- Cookie, in Baxter's case, and to surprise her on her graduation day from university. And so she doesn't know we're coming, and we left at 9 o'clock or so this morning, and we were going to camp out. But somehow the logic prevailed that we would just keep driving. Because it's, in my opinion, it's just more fun. And of course, what's interesting is, is Baxter's doing all the driving. And we've gone through three states or so, so far. And so this is just an update. Because we have been driving for how many hours? 19? Yeah. <laughs> 19, we left at, well, 18, 18, wow. we left at 9, or I came to your house at 9, nine. okay, yeah, yeah, that's right, we had to go and pick up the other uh, video camera too, but so we've been driving f- forever, yeah, and we're not there yet, yeah, but it, it's, so it's kind of an adventure. And uh, we spent this time together going through the ridiculous desert landscape and spending uh, too much time in Las Vegas looking for coffee. And the no, that takes it's all super, thanks. And uh, we decided to have dinner at midnight at Denny's. Baxter had breakfast, and we're still driving. And as we said, it's 4.15. Don't do shit as an espresso drinker. We'll probably the get world. into Boulder. Or Olala land, probably around nine or ten or something. Nice. And so, anyway, this will be fun. This is just an update of what the purpose of the trip is. This is our first life, which is getting there, and then we have to hide from cooking for a day because we're gonna surprise her at a breakfast at a restaurant on okay. Friday. Camera. This just doesn't sound like the way that NPR conducts interviews. Yeah. Well, those what sound fake. What do you know fake. that they don't? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you were saying how they sound so artificial and canned and phony and packaged. But this is, sounds like we're just... Uh, yeah. What's it like out yeah. there? Do you feel safe? Good. Okay. Just telling you. Is it... Keep you posted in case the car crashes and dies. Why are they on the road at four o'clock in the morning? If they died, people wouldn't listen to this whole (laughs) recording. (laughs) Yeah. Hey, can you do me a favor? I hope so. Um. Baxter and I drove in from Los Angeles yesterday, just pulled an all-nighter. It was like 18 hours or something. He did most of the driving. I, uh, we kept the day illuminated through conversation and discourse. Here we are at Livia's house, who's Baxter's mother, who's my ex-wife. We were married for about 10 years, and she lives in Boulder, and it's beautiful, calm, and peaceful here. And tomorrow, what's exciting is that we're going to surprise my daughter, Cookie, uh, at breakfast before her graduation from college. 
She does the tray either back or back. Okay, but I'm going to go smart. Perfect. Okay, now. Okay, now. Okay, now. What? Hi, Cook. <laughs> hey, you kept the secret. That's the good going. Good to meet you, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was good switching to a small table. I was making up a story about gift cards. Yeah. Hi, <laughs> uh, thank you. Do you guys know each other? You now we do. I mean, look, he, he, this is Jesse who set this all up. I could have Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I have nothing to do with it. It was just Jesse and Max to pull it together. Yeah, I need advice. <laughs> anyway, really good. Wow. Where are you staying? Uh, at your place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been practicing settlers at Chat Chatan or whatever, so you won't be bored. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> that really surprised me. Good. So you're, gonna, you're gonna take a look at it. just a bigger, one more bigger team. Yeah. So what I should be putting in now is some sort of generic banjo music or ukuleles or something, but. Um, what I have is a new opera that some friends of mine wrote. my phone goes ding and it said that you know we've just received the shipment hey. oh. Oh, 
Is that my portrait? That's your portrait. Did you guys get pictures of this? No. Yeah. No. Now it's on fire. <laughs> you get pictures of me just trying to blow this out. <laughs> Look, Carter, you can't get a picture. Okay. We'll just scrape off the top. There you go. There you go. That's good. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> it's nice the deck doesn't catch the fire. We're good. Thank goodness for me. Beautiful. All right. Bravo. Oh, How did I lose my voice? I think I lost my voice yelling during your graduation ceremony. And then when I was following Jesse, I was like, damn hell. We scraped out the rest of it. Okay, big piece, small piece, what do you want? I think like, that's such a good um, I'm with Chester Judgment. That's uh, the first, probably the last. You can make some for a second. Here we If you want. Give him my good side. Where? Do you want it upright or on the side? On the side. For sure. Oh, okay. There you go. We pass. Scar. Scar. Scar.